know what you want to teach and how you want to teach it, organizing your classroom is the next step. What do kids do every day in reading? What does the teacher do? How long should kids be in each activity? How do you move them from group to group? Let's talk about routines. Creating a consistent and predictable instructional routine provides students with a comfortable learning environment that promotes self-directed learning and easy planning. Students can fully engage in the tasks and activities without worrying about what's coming next. When should you use whole group instruction? Once a sequence of skills and systematic approaches are planned, skills can be introduced in whole group lessons that include direct instruction and guided practice. For example, a teacher may introduce the skill of identifying beginning sounds. Once the teacher models how to identify the beginning sound of a given word, the students can participate in identifying the beginning sounds of the next set of words. The teacher uses this time as a form of formative assessment. Whole group lessons can begin with a routine song, chant, or even a dance to engage all the learning styles and tra transition into the phonics lesson. Each lesson can begin with a review of previously taught skills and the introduction of new skills. Whole group lessons should take about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on the grade level, and should include multi-sensory approaches to reach all learners. The skills taught should be taught in a systematic way to continuously build upon what was previously taught. Practice should include the specific skill being taught in addition to skills taught previously. Small group instruction. Small group instructional time and peer activities can follow the whole group instruction. Students can be grouped into fluid groups according to academic need and skill deficit or need. These groupings should be evaluated daily and reorganized according to each student's learning needs. Objectives for small group instruction should be targeted on student needs identified in formative assessments, observations, or progress monitoring. Lessons for small groups should be differentiated and allow for students to apply and practice skills learned in the whole group at varying levels. Some students may be ready for next steps, while others are in need of reteaching and additional reinforcements. Small group lessons should also include direct instruction, guided practice, and multi-sensory approaches. Creating an instructional routine will help with planning and consistency. Skills should be reviewed and retaught and then taught within the context to provide deeper meaning and understanding. While the teacher is providing small group instruction, other students are practicing skills independently or with peers. Each small group session should last about 15 to 20 minutes before rotating to the next group. Other small group activities can include word work, peer fluency charts, partner reading, reading responses, comprehension activities, and independent practice. Perhaps the toughest thing about organizing your classroom is transitions. Transitions can truly make or break any learning environment. The room should be organized in such a way that students can move quickly and independently to the next activities. A station chart can be posted and prepared prior to the lesson so that when the whole group lesson is over, students can just easily look at the chart and know where to go. The chart should be made so it can be easily and quickly rotated to indicate which station the groups rotate to next. Each step of every transition should be explicitly taught and reviewed until every student demonstrates mastery. Cover every detail. Before rotating, give students a one minute warning and clean up signal. Using an instrument, sound device, or chant is a great way to signal to your learners that it is time to rotate or move to the next activities. Materials for each station should be prepared and stored in a specific labeled location so students can assist with setup and cleanup. Make a checklist of the materials needed for each week for easy planning. With just a little planning, preparation, and consistency, transitions will be smooth and require little time away from instruction and learning. Let's do a quick review of the instructional organization. Whole group lessons. Begin with a predictable routine. Direct instruction. Guided practice. Review skills and introduce new skills. Multi-sensory approaches included. Skills taught explicitly, then within a context to provide meaning and purpose. Small group instruction. Follow instructional routine. Differentiate. Reinforce skills taught in the whole group. Offer next steps for above-level students. 
Skills are taught explicitly and then within a context. To ensure your science-based reading strategies are working, you need good tools for assessment. Lexplore is developing a rapid digital reading assessment using artificial intelligence and eye tracking. During 2020, we will offer a new pre-K to 8 tool to meet all of your reading assessment needs. Please watch our one-minute demo at the end of this mini-course to learn more.